WTAJ has confirmed an Altoona Junior High School student has been arrested according to Altoona Police. The 15-year-old made a threat of potential violence yesterday, but didn't go into further detail. A field of Republicans want to make a run for the U.S. Senate seat left open by retiring Senator Pat Toomey. And still this morning, it's too close to call. Take a look at these results. Maggie, so late in the night like this, sometimes you like to show face to your supporters, thank them for their support coming out, and maybe usher them home. It is late in the night. That could be what, what's happening. Peyton, I do want to ask you, uh, with the state police standing there with guns at the mm -hmm. ready, are, are they speaking to neighbors about staying into their homes? Is there any advice for people who live in that area? The war in Ukraine continues to grind along with no end in immediate sight. There's international condemnation this morning over a Russian strike on a maternity hospital in Ukraine. Democratic Senate nominee John Fetterman is out of the hospital after having a stroke days before the primary. In a statement, Pennsylvania's lieutenant governor says he's heading back to his home in Braddock to rest and recover. It's estimated up to 30 million Americans are living with a rare disease. Now, one of the biggest challenges is getting an accurate diagnosis. This is something if they were to overturn Roe versus Wade, this could be something that impacts the future of Pennsylvania. You're a pro-life candidate. You talked about uh, not having exceptions uh, on that. So tell us a little bit about what that would look like a future of Pennsylvania if Dave White's governor. From your local election headquarters, Republican gubernatorial candidate Jake Corman is back back in the race after bowing out for a few hours on Tuesday. A new partnership between state agencies and Indiana University of Pennsylvania will help determine if expanding OSHA standards to thousands of Pennsylvanians is feasible. But these coaches, both of them young, yeah. success early so far in their careers, but they also have a relationship. Break that down for us. Oh, that's good, Jordan. <laughs> that is good. I think you got it. Yeah. What do you think, Chris? <laughs> Is it good? Oh, there oh, we go. Right. Made the best big cheese in a onesie win. Gerber is after its next spokes baby for 2022. The winner of the campaign will bank $25,000 and claim the double title of spokes baby and chief growing officer for the brand. Yanni, I don't want you to go anywhere just yet. I want to ask you, you said the commissioners dressed up in lederhosen and suspenders and whatnot. Where, is you, where are yours? I want to see where, where is your get up? According to a new one poll survey, 7 in 10 Americans say they'd hold it in order to skip using a public restroom. Nearly two thirds said they're uncomfortable using a public loo for number two, and that includes at work too. We are getting excited, ramped up for Phil's prediction for this year. They're right now working on it, waking them up, doing a little of the shout dance. Everyone's having a good time. What would be different under a Shapiro leadership, having to most likely work with the Republican legislature again? You talked about using the power of veto, but what about the power to sign bills into law? Well, I'm someone who has we first caught up with Dr. Oz here at the Summer Diner here in Somerset County, and that's where he got to speak with diners and waitstaff to try and to find out what are the issues that are being faced here locally. And quite frankly, that's his main challenge. He has the name recognition. He's already leading in some of the early polls. The reason former President Donald Trump is in Greensburg is the stump for Dr. Oz for Senate. Now, his endorsement has certainly made a mark in this race, but what kind of mark? Still up in the air. Cody Law has been setting goals and knocking them out, literally. He's now performing on one of the highest stages of professional mixed martial arts. Whoa, Loco, that's not good for TV. We'll be back here coming up. Stay with us.